What's up guys, That Only Sheep here, bringing you a pretty beautiful G36C thermal lab with that beautiful golden camo. Now I'm sure you've seen so many Model Fed 3 gameplays in the last year, don't worry about this gameplay, you can watch it if you want. There is some sort of um, kill streak or gun streak I get in it, saying 30, somewhere in the 30s, but you know, there's been so many, so much of this stuff in the last year, it doesn't really matter about it anymore. It's about maybe two weeks or maybe Black Ops 2, it's like 15, 16 sleeps counting down the days. Um, but anyway, I want to try and introduce this new series to you guys today. I've I've sort of made this series idea where I sort of analyze um, a, a particular YouTuber each episode, someone that I generally, sorry about that, someone that I generally watch a lot and I, I you know, I know a fair bit about, I actually watch a crap load of other YouTubers. It's, I probably, I probably watch more YouTubers than the actual time I play on, on the games um, that they play and I play. Um, so I watch a fair bit. Uh, I'm subscribed to that. 60-ish people, and one of them being Jay Nasty, which I want to sort of talk about, analyze his game style, his commentaries, his content, everything today. But before I get into it, I want to just um, so if you see in the title, I think I might call this something like understanding YouTubers or what's the behind the scenes of YouTubers or something like that. Um, if you can give me a better series name, like I don't think I'll maybe stick with that. Maybe I, I need to think of something better. If you can give me some ideas in the comment section down below, that'll be sick. If you like the series, um, please hit me up with a like. So anyway, JNRC720, the king of all gameplay. He is, I call him incredible. Other people call him absolute horse poo. Now, the only thing behind this is support runners. You've got people who hate him and people who love him, people who think he's a god. Now, I am generally towards the positive side. I don't necessarily think he's a god, but I really enjoy his gameplay. He's probably the pe like there's a bunch of people that like doing this, getting those good gameplays of the support runners, and I think he's at the peak of that. He's he's leading that herd of pe that he's leading that pack of people who are doing that, that sort of content, and that's why he's got so many subscribers, and he's still getting about 300, 400 subscribers, new subscribers each and every day, and this is sort of like in the off-peak season for YouTubers, um, so he's still doing very well, and. Um, so regardless of how bad he treats his support runners and how, you know, he, he pretty much does. He yells at them in the game. So he, like, um, if you want to go check out like him yelling at his um, support runners, is actually quite hilarious. Go watch one of his live streams. It's pretty funny. I, yes, one of the main reasons I wa like watching his live streams is because he rages. I've never seen someone rage as much as he does. Like, it's because he's got those sport support runners in a game. He and everyone else expects him to do well. So if he doesn't do well every single game, maybe at this state in the game, he's generally getting at least a double knife every game. Um, you know, pretty much 100 plus every game, if not 150 kills. It's pretty incredible to watch um, if you do like watching support um, gameplays. And so if he doesn't do well in a game, he goes absolutely spastic and he blames it all on his support runners. But um, nonetheless, you know, he does hurt a few feelings um, with his support runners. Overall, the people who watch his videos, just like me, we enjoy it, I enjoy it, and um, that's pretty good. So, yeah, if you want to check him out, um, you know, go see his channel, go look at um, his live stream, it's pretty cool. Um, what else can I talk about? Um, oh, yeah, in his videos, he's got this um, this neat little thing where he, he calls his subscribers slut, slut bag, pretty much abuses them straight up, but for some reason, his subscribers just absolutely love it and adore it when they call him, when he just abuses his subscribers in a video, you know, go and like his food, slut bags, etc, etc. <laughs> uh, you know, the top comment on every video is almost something about, you know, please call me a slut bag again, it's quite humorous. So that's a little neat little thing that he has with his subscribers. I guess that increases um, the way he communicates and um, interacts with his subscribers, thus making them more active. Uh, sounds like I'm doing an English report in this commentary. It's not supposed to be that. It's supposed to be a bit entertaining. And um, a thing that's happened recently with um, Jay Nasty 720 is his um, little, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a YouTube drama, but his little thing with um, Wings of Redemption. And um, it's, it's quite humorous. Uh, I'll get into Wings of Redemption in another video. Personally, I hate Wings of Redemption, but I still watch his videos. But I'll talk about that later. Um, and well, where was I on to? Yeah, Wings of Redemption absolutely hates, he's one of those people that absolutely hates Jay Nasty's playing style, how he gets support all the time, and thinks he's absolute horse poo. Um, so Wings said, you know, come on Jay Nasty, let's, let's sort of, you know, 1v1 each other, let's verse each other. And so Wings set up this whole thing where Wings would, um, you basically 
Jane Arcee and Wings would be the captain of two six, six man teams, so it'll be a 6v6 match. Jane Arcee picks five other people that he knows that he thinks are good, um, they could be in his team and Wings does the same. So they have a full stacked up team, probably pretty much YouTubers um, going up ahead of each other. And I think Wings classified that they do three matches. One was like headquarters, one domination, and one um, one capture the flag. And so it'd be sort of a best out of three matches. And um, yeah, and Wings also made the rule that you weren't able to pick any pro, you know, people who are on the MLG league, so professional COD players. Uh, where personally, if that, okay, first of all, Wings declined on that battle. He ended up saying, Wings, I'm just gonna say chicken now because I absolutely hate him. Wings back down and Ching, uh, Wings made the excuse. So Wings created this whole this whole match and then he said, sorry, I'm not gonna do it um, because Wings say, said, I haven't played seriously since January. I beg to differ, he's played, a, he's played a fair bit. He's got a fair bit of gameplay since he's played in January. So Wings has said, I haven't played in a while. I would get demolished. All the other players in this match are way better than me, so I'm gonna back out. So I think the match may still go ahead, but Wings may not play in it, so, which is quite stupid, you know. Wings would probably get some exposure from doing this big, big clash of the Titans type thing. Anyway, if that match was to go ahead, I would personally think that Jay Nasty would probably... I do think Jay Nasty is way better than Wings overall, um, but I think Jay Nasty would have a bit of a hard time because, you know, he's generally rushing around trying to get all those kills, but if he's going into a more competitive match where, you know, he's not just pub stomping on these, you know, non procedure noobs, um, it might be a bit hit hard for him. Anyway, so that's all I have to say today. Personally, I like Joe Nasty. I like watching his vids. I think he's quite funny. Others may not think the same, but the majority, I think, pretty do um, thinks the same as me because if you watch his channel, it's growing like a little bitch. And um, people don't think he's going to go too well in Black Ops 2 because there's, you know, no support. Um, he, I don't know which way he's going to go. If he's... Um, if he's still going to get his, you know, some subscribers in to run like UAV Blackbird, that may still be the case. But otherwise, I think he's going to do perfectly fine. Just running either by himself or with a full party, just running around. He is a good player. Um, he'll obviously, I reckon, he can't stray away from the try-hard classes that will be um, available in Black Ops 2. I don't think they can make the game fully um, balanced. You know, there'll, there'll be some stronger classes, and I'm sure Jane RC will use them. Anyway, that's the commentary today. Please like the video. Please hit that subscribe button and leave some comment section down below if you can think of any good names for this new series. And um, yeah, let me know what you think of this series as well. So that's it from me, guys. And um, I'll see you later. Peace.